السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. To carry on with the upper limb lectures, I'm gonna cover in this presentation the anatomy of the arm and the cubital saw. I'm Dr. Dalia Saleh, professor and head of anatomy department at Mansoura University, Egypt. In this presentation, I'm gonna cover the following objectives. First, I will talk about the muscles of the upper limb, both at the front and the back. And then we will talk about the cubital fossa regarding its boundaries and contents. The arm muscles are divided into two groups at the front of the arm or the flexor muscles and at the back of the arm or the extensor muscles. The front muscles include the triceps brachii, the brachialis, and the coracobrachialis, while at the back we have only one muscle with three heads, which is called the triceps brachii. The biceps brachii has two heads, a short head, which arises from the coracoid process of the scapula, and a long head, which arises from the supraglenoid tubercle of the scapula. Both heads unite in one belly, and it is inserted by a tendon into the radial tuberosity, and by a ponyurosis, into the G fascia of the forearm. It is supplied as the rest of the front muscles by the musculocutaneous nerve and it is a flexor and a supinatal to the elbow joint. Also, its head, since it passes over the shoulder joint, it helps in its flexion. The brachialis muscle is a deep muscle which lies deep to the biceps. It arises from the distal part of the anterior surface of the humerus and inserts into the ulnar tuberosity. It's also supplied by the musculocutaneous nerve and partially by the radial nerve at its lateral side and it is a powerful flexor of the elbow joint. For the coracobrachialis, it arises from the coracoid process of the scapula and inserts into the medial border of the humerus opposite the deltoid tuberosity. It is supplied also by the musculocutaneous nerve and it is a weak flexor of the shoulder. At the back of the arm we have the triceps muscle which arises by three heads, the long head from the infraglenoid tubercle of the scapula, the lateral head from the posterior surface of the humerus above the radial groove or the spiral groove and the medial head which is also called the deep head arises from the posterior surface of the humerus below the spiral groove. The three heads unite into a single insertion at the upper part of the electrocranial process of the ulna. This muscle is supplied by the radial nerve by separate branches and it extends the elbow. The cubital fossa is a triangular impression in front of the elbow joint. It lies between the precuridialis on the lateral side and the pronator teres on the medial side. It's covered by skin and superficial fascia containing the cutaneous nerves and superficial veins and vessels, and also by the apicebital aponeurosis. Its floor is made by two deep muscles, the brachialis and the supinator, and it contains the following structures. From medial to lateral, we have the median nerve, the brachial artery, the biceps brachii tendon, and the radial nerve. We can memorize it by the following mnemonics. Me, brave, big rumor. This will be the end of my presentation. Thanks for listening. If you like it, please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. And do not forget to hit the notification bell so you can know if I upload another video. Please leave a comment below and see you in the next video. Thank you.